Are you ready for grade three math, third grade math? Did you learn these in second grade? Did you learn to add and subtract up to three digit numbers with regrouping? That means you can do addition or subtraction problems like these. Do you know how to write equations for word problems for addition and subtraction? Do you understand place values to the one thousandths place? Can you measure and estimate lengths in standard and metric units? Can you measure something that's five inches long with a ruler or 10 centimeters? Can you relate addition and subtraction to length? Can you tell something is two inches shorter than something else? Can you tell time on an analog clock to the hour, half hour, quarter hour, and know the hour and minute hands? You need to know how to count one dollar bills, half dollars, quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies, and make simple change. You also need to have your addition and subtraction facts to 20 memorized. You have to know that 5 plus 5 is 10 and 8 plus 6 is 14 and have it memorized as fast as you know that 1 plus 1 is 2. Do you understand even and odd numbers? And do you understand and use the symbols greater than is equal to and less than? Do you understand picture graphs and bar graphs? Or recognize, draw, and identify triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, hexagons, and cubes? Do you understand how to work with halves, thirds, fourths, or do you know what symmetry is? When you look at something, can you find half of it? When you look at a group, can you split it into thirds? And can you skip count by twos, by fives, tens, or one hundredths? These are the things that we should have learned in second grade. And if you did learn them, you're going to be very ready for grade three math. For this playlist, we're going to be using the 2015 copyright of the Houghton Mifflin Hardcourt grade three math. It's almost identical to the 2012 copyright version, so you can use the 2012 textbook if that's what you have. You can tell the copyright by turning to this page, and you can see right there it says copyright 2015. Okay, But the chapters and lessons in both books are very similar, so you can use either book. But this 2015 grade 3 math playlist will be organized by lessons to the textbook better than my 2012 playlist. I made the 2012 playlist a few years ago, and I've gotten better at making my videos. And from my YouTube earnings, I've been able to buy better dry erase boards and better teaching manipulatives. So hopefully, you'll find this new playlist to be very helpful. So I hope you're ready. And welcome to third grade math.